And now, straight out of Farmville and direct into your living room, the only man that can bring you a nice summer breeze just by opening his mouth, the one and only Professor John. Hey there everybody, I'm Professor John, and I hold in my hand the envelopes. As a child of three can see, these envelopes have been hermetically sealed. They've been on the front porch of Ryan Seacrest's house since noon today. No one, but no one, knows the contents of these envelopes but me. In my borderline and divine mystical way, I will decipher what's in these envelopes would I ever before knowing the question? Is that amazing? Well, you gotta find out why how amazing it is as we do the first envelope. So, may I have quiet, please? All right. Now we start with the first envelope. We will kick Tommy Krat ass. That's the answer. We will kick Tommy Krat ass. What is the aim of Tea Party voters on November 2nd? Whoops. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> okay, number two. <laughs> Overtaxation, overregulation, and over the hill. Overtaxation, overregulation, and over the hill. Name the three name the three perfect exceptions for Jerry Brown. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's try number three. The Triple X Network. What does the E Network look like whenever they air any of their reality shows? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. May Phineas and Ferb play Butt Bongo on Kim Kardashian's rear end. <laughs> oh, let's do it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number four. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. What is the proper way to address Senator Boxer? <laughs> Number five. Crooks are us. Crooks are us. How do you describe the city government of Bell, California? <laughs> yep. What a bunch of crooks. Number six. The Los Angeles Clippers and the Democrat Party. <laughs> the Clippers and the Democrats. <laughs> Name the two biggest groups of losers in 2010. <laughs> oh, um, also, um, may the Hollywood party girl come over to my house and seduce me in my air bed. <laughs> Number seven, polishing women's toes. <laughs> what is Justin Bieber's favorite hobby? Oh my, Bieber fever for toes. <laughs> you know, he's got a new clothing line, new, 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 new line. He's lent his name 
to glittery, glittery nail polish. <laughs> boy, you have knee, boy, these teenage girls will have Bieber fever on their toes and on their hands now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Number eight, Dan Patrick. Dan Patrick. Who should we blame for the continuation of Keith Olbermann's television career? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number nine. Animal House. What does the White House look like since Obama became president? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I hold in my hand the last envelope. Yay! <laughs> and um, may Frank and Jamie McCourt go to the Dodger Stadium deep parking lot. <laughs> Get rid of those two a-holes, believe me. <laughs> okay. What, what am I doing? I gotta get the answer. Okay. <laughs> here's the here's the answer. <laughs> Madonna, Miley Cyrus, and Lady Gaga. Madonna, Miley Cyrus, and Lady Gaga. Name an old slut, a new slut, and a total slut. <laughs> hey, that's it, everybody. I'm Professor John, reminding you to stop communist hedge fund managers. Cut off George Soros' head, won't you? We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. You have been watching The Professor John Show, a presentation of the new Harbor 2010 channel only on YouTube. <laughs>